Part D, we're asked to graph the function. And if we just type in the function into our y1, and we hit zoom six for the standard viewing window, we get the shape of the graph. And it says for what, so for part E, so we get the shape of the graph, and then for part E, it's asking us to find for what values of x is d the smallest? Well, we can see that when x is somewhere over in the second quadrant and also in the first quadrant, that the values of, of d are the lowest. So if we do second calculate minimum, we move the cursor to the left of that low point in the second quadrant, mark it with enter, then move the cursor to the right side of that low point, mark it with enter, and then guess, move the cursor back in between the two, and we see that when x is equal to negative 2.55, negative 2.55 would be one value, and most likely if it's uh, it's going to be 2.55 on the right-hand side, but just to confirm. Second, calculate minimum, number three, and we move the cursor over. Here's a quicker way to do it. Left bound, type one, enter. Right bound, type four, enter. So you can just type a number, and it'll mark it. And then if you guess, let's guess three, somewhere in between one and four, and, and sure enough, we have 2.55 as well, 2.55. So we can see that when x is equal to either negative 2.55 or 2.55, the distance between the point on that curve, y equals x squared minus 8, and the point 0, negative 1 is at a minimum. That's how that works.